All right, and to education matters now, university academic staff union leaders are warning vice chancellors against threatening lecturers with the sack for taking part in a strike. Lecturers in public universities have been on strike for a month and they've vowed they will not resume work until their 2017-2021 collective bargaining agreement is negotiated and concluded. Well, Education Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed says they should be working as negotiations continue. NTV's education reporter Sharon Baranga with the story. They spoke one language, danced to one tune. Lecturers from public universities had converged at the University of Nairobi's graduation square for a walk to Jogo House. University academic staff union leaders warned vice chancellors. As a union, we'll drag you in court and we are prepared. Haiwezi kani kuwa kwamba wafanyikazi wa vio vikuto latini na moja inchinzima wawe kwenye mgomo mwezi moja umepita. Sirikali haija toka kusema nilote nao. They sang and danced chanting slogans on their way to Jogo House. Once in a while, drivers within the city had to give way. They passed by parliament buildings and the treasury where they hoped to have a meeting with the cabinet secretary, but their mission failed. They then walked to Jogo House, hoping to be addressed by the education cabinet secretary. This plan flopped too. Unlikely support came from University of Nairobi and Kenyatta University students. This is the first time students from public universities are joining their lecturers in demonstrating around the city. They want the government to solve the current stalemate as soon as possible. We want to tell Amina Mohammed that we are really disappointed by what, what she is doing. We haven't heard from her. Five weeks has elapsed and we are not in class. Our comrades are, uh, are not at peace. Some uh, were supposed to graduate uh, come this year, July. the end July, some December, but that as per now uh, remains something that is unknown. <laughs> The lecturers say their 2017-2021 collective bargaining agreement was supposed to have been negotiated and concluded in June last year. Education CS Amina Mohammed is hopeful that their strike will end soon as the government received data of the number of lecturers in the universities and this will aid in fast-tracking negotiations. The lecturers have a court order to go back to, to teach. They should actually go back to teach. And while teaching, because right now they're in contempt of court, you see, while teaching, this, have these discussions with us. Oh, my sister, Ambassador, Doctor, Amira Mohamed, you are in a wrong ministry. <laughs> the people you see here, these are manufacturers of brains. These are learned people. These are people who have seen books. They are not going to give you peace. Last week, UASU leaders and the Inter-Public Universities Council Consultative Forum IPUCCF met but failed to reach agreement. Over 600,000 students have not been attending classes for the last one month. Sharon Baranga, NTV.